In 41 days, Barack Obama will be sworn in as the 44th president of the United States. Millions are expected to jam the National Mall to witness history on the steps of the U.S. Capitol building. Political reporter Nick Bogert says some South Florida campaign volunteers worried about finding an affordable way to depart for D.C. So you know what they're doing? They're chartering a cruise ship to take 1,100 people to the inauguration. The Yes We Can Cruise Committee boards the Regal Empress, a 611-foot vintage ocean liner. Does this couch slide onto a bed? Yes, ma'am. Uh, they spend a couple of hours touring, making sure this 55-year-old vessel is fit for the trip of a lifetime to the inauguration of Barack Obama. The idea for this Yes We Can cruise hatched in the Obama campaign office in Lauderhill the day after the election. Volunteers who'd worked hard getting Obama elected suddenly realized they might be shut out of his inaugural. And I can hear the panic in their voices saying all the hotel rooms are booked. Indeed, D.C. hotel rooms are hard to come by, many offered in very pricey packages. Five-figure sums at top hotels, even not terribly grand apartments going for a grand a night. Karen Phillips insists amid volunteers' panic, she heard a divine voice. He whispered in my ear, Karen, do a cruise to the inauguration. Is when she called right away, hey, there's a room, there's a way to get there. That you don't have to go pay $15,000 to rent somebody's house for a week. Cruise prices start from $1,100 per person for a two-passenger cabin. The ship to set sail Friday, January 16th, getting to the port of Baltimore the following Monday. The next morning, passengers would be bused to suburban D.C., catching metro trains into the city for the festivities. The Regal Empress would leave Baltimore the next day, a brief stop in Freeport before returning to Port Everglades Saturday the 24th. The ship can save money for those willing to spend the time. We have zillion people that are saying, make it happen, and we will we'll, we'll be there. So that's what Joseph Nolfi says so many want to witness this particular chapter in history, a chapter he never expected. I would say you're out of your mind, and that in my lifetime. Nafi recalls being denied service at a restaurant in Ohio just after coming to the U.S. in 1956. They wanted me to go eat in the back of the kitchen, and I said, no, I will not do that. The cruise committee is unanimous in anticipating great emotion as Obama is sworn in. I imagine I'll be crying a lot. For more details on the Yes We Can cruise, you can go to NBC6.net. We'll link you to the cruise website. At Port Everglades, Nick Bogert, NBC6. NBC6 has obtained new surveillance in an armored truck ambush at the Dayland Mall. A 51-year-old married father of two was gunned down and ambushed.